Hey folks, Nas here. Another episode of our challenge season of Medieval Dynasty. So in this episode, let me move that so you can actually read it there in the top right. We've got the chapter six, a big game. So we have to acquire a bow. We've got to hunt some deer, a wolf, a wisent, and bear. We have a lot of stuff to hunt. So um, what I did, and you will probably notice a little window with a time lapse in it somewhere on the screen. I actually took an entire day in game. Uh, I traveled to Gustovia, which I found out later that I didn't have to go to Gustovia, but I did. Uh, but I went to Gustovia and I ended up purchasing some linen thread from, um, what's his name? Unigost. That way we can make our bow. Then I wanted to go to uh, Denica because I had uh, almost 2,000 coin established there. And as you can see, I have now increased my weight from 35 to 50 kilograms. So I ended up buying the small, uh, simple backpack. No, I think I just bought the simple backpack. It gave me 15 kilograms of weight, uh, available weight in my inventory. That way we could carry more stuff since we were going out and having to hunt up all of these animals. As you can see as well, I stole some planks while I was in Denica uh, because I wanted to make a wash tub. So after the last episode uh, where we did the uh, farm, we, we did the barn and we placed our last uh, farming plot. Let me get over here where we can kind of see a little bit. Um, I went through and hoed all of these uh, farming plots. So they're all ready to go. All they really need is like fertilizer. Now we're only utilizing just a fraction of what we have, but we're going to continue growing these uh, plots. Well, the plots won't grow. We're going to continue adding to them, I should say, um, the actual crops themselves. So I've currently replanted cabbage since it was available for me to plant again this season and we're waiting on carrot which i believe comes up next season for me to actually harvest um i can't do any of the wheat or anything yet uh, because i don't have a scythe to be able to um harvest it when it's time to harvest but i will probably put once i get a wife I will probably put her on this, the farm, um, but we will see. Uh, that way I don't actually have to burn through a scythe or two trying to do all of those crops. But anyway, uh, my rabbit trap and my bird trap have been doing well. I've got um, the stuff to make a bow now, and we can do that real quick. Uh, let me go into my inventory. So I've got the thread uh what do i need oh i need a log i think um so i've got enough feathers to uh make the stone arrows as well uh, so let's drop these other logs here four f there we go um i made a ton of spears so about i needed about 35 more spears to get me to the tavern i know there's a lot of information a lot of stuff has happened just between the episodes, but it was a lot of uh, just grindy kind of stuff that wouldn't really make for good gameplay. So it was just running around and crafting and stuff like that. So um, we got the crafting to the 250 points that we needed to get to the tavern so we can actually start purchasing some of these here so I can actually make some food, which we need to do. So I believe... Yes, so the pottage, I can do that because I have cabbage and I have meat, raw meat. Uh, so I'm actually going to purchase that one so we can make some of that because I have zero food. I don't have any of the meat cooked or anything right now. Uh, and then once carrots come up, we can make stew. But I will buy that once the carrots are uh, harvested and we can make that up. 
Uh, now I'm not going to make it all up at once, but I am going to probably make like four right now. Because I've got uh, the cabbage and stuff on me, the cabbage and meat. I'll just make a quick four. And we'll call that good. And then we are going to go and make the stone arrows and the bow. That way we can head out and start uh, hunting some of these um, animals that we need to hunt. Now, I don't know if the Wysant had spawned across um, the little valley area from my house, behind my house here. Uh, matter of fact, I probably need to eat. Let's eat these oat rolls. Um, that way it's, there we go, it's done. So that's good, get us up to about 69 there. So I don't know if the Wysant has spawned back here or not, but he could be, if he is, he may be just over that ridge. So once you go over this ridge, there's another little little small valley um, on the other side of that ridge, and sometimes he's over there, um, which is good. He stays over there. We haven't affected his spawn location, so it, it hasn't deleted that. Oops, I'm not going the right direction. We need to come over here and make a bow. So one log, one thread, we can make that bow. Um, and then we can turn around and make those stone arrows and equip those. Uh, I also um, acquired another skill point in... Let's go to the skill point. Whoops, wrong button. I like wrong buttons. Uh, let's see. So I've got another skill point here in hunting, which we haven't placed a point in hunting yet because we hadn't done a whole lot of it. Um, I cannot use, again, part of the rules, I cannot put points in hunting knowledge, but I can put them in steady hand, which is bow, crossbow, and spear is held 10% steadier, which would be nice, but it is a work in progress, so that's not they're not uh, fully done with this particular skill. Now, archer, which we are making the bow and arrows right now, uh, arrows and bolts uh, have a 10% lesser chance to break. I think I'm actually going to go for this one rather than steady hand. Um, one, because it doesn't say it's a work in progress. And two, if we can keep from losing arrows, then that means that we don't have to worry so much about remaking arrows. Because I, I only have enough feathers right now to make one stack of arrows. Uh, granted, I can't carry more than 50 arrows in the quiver. So we're going to take that archer. Now I also have uh, a crafting knowledge or sk crafting skill point in or a skill point in crafting. I completely wanted to say that different each time I said it. But again, can't take the crafting knowledge, but we can take craftsman, which is faster crafting of wooden and stone objects, which we are going to be crafting a lot of in the game. Sewer does nothing for us because we can't build the sewing hut, so we are strictly left with craftsmen right now. So we'll put the one point there, uh, which is going to be great. And then, of course, the cooking, uh, because I'm probably going to be a lot doing a lot of the cooking mainly so I can get those skill points um, once we start establishing people in our uh, settlement. Okie dokie. Now we need to make those arrows. Where are they at? Right there. Let's make those arrows up real quick. And just like that. Takes three seconds. 50 arrows. Done. Man, I am good, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so we've got 50 arrows. And we are going to equip those in the quiver, which is right there. So you just highlight it. Press F. Boom. It's in the quiver. And the bow... We are going to put the bow, or oh, the bow is already in three. So let's head out. Um, we're already into this quite a bit. And let's head out and see if we can start getting some hunting done.
There we go, folks. We got all of our hunting done. We had a lot of close calls. <laughs> But we have got it done. We are now on chapter seven, the resourcefulness. We have to build resource storage. We have to build a woodshed. We have to build a food storage. We have to gain uh, the thousand dynasty reputation, which we're not too far from. Uh, and we have to build at least 10 buildings. We have three already done and we have three for the quest that we have to build. Um, so that's going to leave us with four extra buildings, which we can, excuse me, we can build some houses and maybe start recruiting some uh, villagers. But anyway, uh, I think we are going to call this an episode. Um, I have gone through quite a bit of arrows, as you can see. The stone arrows do not last as long as the iron arrows, which I am... Not able to craft myself, however, I can buy them, but I believe that they're 40 coin each. And I'm not sure that I want to buy 40 coin or pay 40 coin for one arrow. Um, I will continue to do what I can to make stone arrows. And then I believe under skills and under hunting, we have this available to us. Uh, after we choose, so our, it'll be our third skill point uh, that we'll get in hunting. Our next point is actually going to go in tracker. That way we can kind of track animals and stuff that are fairly close and, and we can hunt them a little bit better. But um, what is predator? Oh, moving faster while sneaking. Okay. But bottomless bag uh, is a plus 50 to quiver. So it'll allow us to carry a hundred arrows at a time in our quiver instead of 50. Uh, so that'll be a really nice thing to have once we reach that. Uh, but as right now in, we've got 107 points in survival. We actually need to reach 500 points to get a fishing hut, which I would like to have a fishing hut and be able to put somebody in it. <laughs> so we are getting fish uh, passively. Uh, that way I don't actually have to go out and hunt a ton to keep uh, food on the table for villagers that we will potentially be getting. Now it is getting super dark out here and I have a, I think I might try to go get this last bear real quick since there's only two bear here as long as that other one didn't spawn and because it takes quite a bit of arrows to get these guys down. And I can't jump up on this rock like I want to. Oh, did he spot me? I think he did. Let's get him in the poop there. Get him. Get him. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Whoa, whoa. Pause. And oh my god, we're down to 10. Holy Toledo. Dee 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 dee. Yeah. Let's get him. Get him. Get him. God, oh, I missed him. Holy crap. Why am I so slow right now? Oh my god, I'm horrible at this. Can you hit him? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why am I slow? I can't move. Uh, let's see, let's drink. Eat. I gotta gain some stamina back. He is super slow, but holy cow, I have dumped some arrows into him. Oh, thank goodness. Whoo! <laughs> oh, I'm thinking I probably should have left his ass alone. <laughs> Sorry for my language. Oh my goodness. Let's skin this dude. Holy cow. And I am carrying too much weight. So, um, look at all those arrows. I completely missed a ton of that stuff. All right, I'm gonna pick up all of these arrows and it's, 
how close are we to like the end of the night? Okay, so we're only about three more hours in game to the end of the night, um, which is going to port me back to my house anyway because it's going to be season change. But like I said, um, this is going to be it finally. I should have left him alone. I regret, almost regret um, shooting him. And we will see you folks in the next one. If you are liking these uh, these episodes, definitely hit that like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos that I put out. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.